Hey guys, it's Sean again. Just gonna go over Neo puts. We had a swing position overnight. We both opened weeklies and one for next week. Called it out yesterday at 5 a.m., which is right around this candle. This is a replay uh, feature here, so you'll get to see what happens after. But before I called it out, there's a simple TA explained here on the left side. Watch Neo here also running into daily 9 EMA blue line. We've been rejected here five times already. Cause we break above and puts it for reject. So going to the daily chart here, as you can see, Neo has been trading in this downtrend for quite some time. And the blue line here that you see, that's the daily 9 EMA, 9 day moving average. As you can see, every time we hit, we may have had green candles below it, but we always rejected, 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 and we're going for another rejection there as well. Looking down into the four hour, as you can see, we did have actually a pretty good amount of volume this particular day. So I was a bit worried, but looking at the 15 minute chart here, I was seeing a really huge bearish divergence, as you can see. Stock is going up, right? But the dive, uh, sorry, not the divergence, the RSI is going down. Okay. And I'm going to actually play this here now so we can see it together. Oh, where did it go? I think I lost the tool. Oh, never mind. There it is. All right. So I'll play it now. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I called this out before market and got in at 5 a.m., which is right around this candle. Okay, I saw that we were bouncing a little bit. Okay, but we were reject. We've already rejected here once. We rejected here twice, and the selling volume right here engulfed the previous three green candles, and even if when we were pumping here, these volume bars are very little, very, you know, small, insignificant volume compared to this candle. So if you can see on the left side here, I'll put the mouse over this red candle bar. For the volume, you can see 5 million. Before we had 3 million, 3 million. We have 4.8, got pretty close. After that, we had 3.7, 2 million, and 1.6. And again, the divergence. We're making new highs on the chart, but we're making a new lows on the RSI, which is indicating that the momentum is slowly shifting downwards, right? So I got in there, and we'll play it again. Again, harsh rejection. And we kind of hang up there for a bit. We get the huge breakdown here. Going to pause it again. So reject it. Again, you know, volume still not able to take out this initial Two, oh, two of the huge rejection candle volumes here. Still not able to take these volume out. They're not even, they're barely halfway, half size of the, these two rejection candles here, right? We do try and push up again. So we break, break structure there. Let's see, play it out. Obviously not enough juice. Again, another huge selling candle and the market pretty much closed. We're going to put on the actually five minute chart there. Yep. So as you can see, we've attempted multiple times to actually break above the 90 EMA in the daily chart and this downtrend line, but rejected multiple times, failed to make a new high and made a small head and shoulder here and ended up breaking down. And as you can see on the left side, trim for 35% here. And today... The weeklies, I closed for 100% gains, free money. And the swing trade, I left one contract open, but we also trimmed that for, uh, how much did I sell that for? Yeah, 32% pretty much. And we're still holding on to the current swing position, but I did get out of my weekly position right at open during market today. We'll go a little faster. Zoom it out. There you go. Huge gap down, obviously. We did attempt to recover. 
a little bit. Only to really fill the gap and reject all the way down. So my put there for 100%. And still holding on to the you know, swing trade for next week.